Hey Capricorn, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back. Hope you all have been well. I have been with my lover, <laughs> my other lover, but I am here for you. Um, so if you're new, please do hit like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos and my channel and readings. And to those of you who've been here, hi. Hope everybody's doing well. I will be here on Saturday for the live stream, $20 readings. Um, yeah, so this will be a love reading for October for uh, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Just remember, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. All right, let's get started, Capricorn. What is your love energy? What are the messages for Capricorn? Okay, Chariot in the past, present, the Two of Wands, and challenged by the Seven of Swords. Driving the reading is the Hermit. Crowning is the Ten of Cups. Near future, the Nine of Swords. Your advice, the Star. External to you, the Page of Cups. Hopes and fears, judgment, and the outcome, Four of Cups, and the Three of Cups. Bottom of the deck, the Four of Wands. Homecoming might be a reunion coming for you okay possibly some of you might be going home um maybe you're having a halloween party okay a little bit of some mystery surrounding this oh 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 capricorn oh my gosh okay you have the king of cups the king of pentacles and the king of swords <clears throat> And you have the Ace of Cups. <laughs> Capricorn, what are you doing? What's going on? I mean, this is exciting for me because I'm a Capricorn moon. So <laughs> let me just throw that out there. Um, okay, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Um, you know, I kind of feel like <laughs> you secretly are hoping to have new love, commitment, marriage, the whole nine yards, you're looking, you know, or not, I don't feel like you're looking, but you're hoping for the 1111, you know, angel blessing, the blessings to come in. You're not really saying anything. You're keeping quiet. Capricorn, you've got three people here who are crazy interested in you right now. What? And they all, each one of them, is also secretly hoping for a chance to be with you okay <laughs> crazy how that starts um <clears throat> yeah that's what i feel like love is coming in you know it's like when it rains it pours and when it doesn't rain it's drier than a hot desert in the middle of the summer i mean it's like <laughs> capricorn a lot of you were just like your love life was dry as a bone and now you've got all these suitors coming in. Okay, so just be mindful, be mindful. Now we'll see if that ties into the reading. But for now, we're going to take a look and see what's going on here for you in your reading. Um, so the past energy, cancer energy of the chariot. So in the past, I just feel like you were moving right along, footloose and fancy. You're just traveling, doing your thing, living your life, being happy, feeling balanced. But of course... Presently, you have the two of wands. So you're at a crossroads. You have a decision to make. And obviously, look, some of you could presently be connecting to three people um, or you've got some of these people coming in. You could just be connecting with one person right now and you've got other suitors showing up in October. Um, the challenge is the seven of swords. The challenge is trying to be discerning, which I feel like you will be, or you are, um, trying to suss out, use your intuition to figure out which who's going to fit you best, who's the one you want to, you know, have this this full on commitment, love, you know, partner for life. And I feel like you are. I'm really, I love you, <laughs> what you're doing here. Because I feel like you're at a crossroad. You're not making any major decisions here. You're just being very discerning. Um, you're just typically like, I just feel like you... 
I don't feel like you're being... S <clears throat> you're just making sure no one's going to be sketchy in your life. That's all. You just don't want any sketch. That's all. You're looking to see who's sus. Let's take a look at this, um, this chariot here. Some of you might have, um, maybe you're, you're flying home or you're, you're in town or you flew to a new place or you relocated or moved, you were traveling recently or at some point in the past you relocated. Oh, look, you've got the page of wands, yeah. Wow, some of you have been on dates, got in your car. You've had some, some of you are on dating apps or you're just meeting people online. <clears throat> Sorry, my, like, I'm just so contested today. You know how it goes with me. I have the asthma, so sometimes it, sometimes it happens. But anyway, there's communication. You might, you might have received communication from someone or some people about meeting up or connecting. Um, I feel like you're being kind of hush-hush about all this, though, right now. You're not saying anything to anybody. Keeping it to yourself. Okay. Yeah, look here. Wow. Cards are speaking to me. You've got the Hermit. This is the Virgo card. This is, you're like going in, staying quiet. You're not saying anything. The Hermit and the High Priestess are the cards of, well, quietness. Okay, this just flew out. Six of Pentacles here. You're looking for reciprocity. Okay. Um, what's on your mind here? You've got the Ten of Cups. So this is what you're looking for. This is what you want. This is all you will accept. If you're not actually doing a search, but you're just standing in position of receiving, um, you're just, you're vetting. I feel like you're vetting. You will be. Or some of you might be dating several different people. You know, you do your thing. Or you're maybe trying to make a decision or waiting to see who comes through. I don't think you're looking for someone who, I don't feel like you're, you're in, will be in this process of like vetting to see who's the best one. I feel like you're going to be vetting to see who's the worst one so you can get rid of them first. Process of elimination <clears throat> is how I feel like you're handling this uh, whole thing. Um, let's take a look here at this hermit. Okay. Yeah, the fool. This, well, free your mind and the rest will follow. I don't think you're going to stay down here for long. I don't think you're staying in hermit mode for long, Capricorn. I feel like you are, as soon as you figure out, as soon as you suss it out, as soon as you're aware, then you're going to take a risk. That's your thought process too. And I feel like you're thinking about that as well. Um, you might be kind of in between. You might be kind of being a little bit like, oh, maybe I should just go for it. Maybe I should just take one person, just go for it instead of, you know, reflecting on it so much, you know, but so you, and then you might be like, oh, wait, no, maybe that's too much of a risk. You know, um, you're kind of like in this place right now where you're like, oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. So you're not really, you're in between. So what I see here going forward is you have the nine of pentacles. Um, <laughs> you're not going to make a decision just yet. Okay. You have choices. You have several different paths you can take here in love. I see that happening for you in October. You're gonna meet a couple. You're gonna meet a couple people, three people at least. But you're gonna have several choices, several options. And I feel like going forward, you're not gonna make any decisions just yet. You're standing here in your nine of pentacles. Money in the bank, independent, looking pretty hot and sexy, and awfully attractive. And you know, I don't need nobody. That's kind of your energy right now. <clears throat> like you're you're kind of like coming across to me like you're okay. Uh, you, you're so good right now or will be Capricorn going forward that you can take your time and choose. Do you know what I mean? Like you, I don't see you sitting here. <clears throat> excuse me. I don't see you sitting here in a position of desperation whatsoever. I kind of feel like you are like, okay, mm -hmm. well, I still have my things that I'm doing and I'm happy with where I am, or I will be, is how I, how I see the near future here for you. Um, let me take a look. Let's just pull a clarifying card for this. Yeah, look, you have the Seven of Cups. So basically, you have options. This is, it just, I'm telling you, it's not, 
it's not the cards coming out and I'm giving the messages. It's me giving the messages and spirits clarifying with the cards. So you have options, many, many options, and you can choose and you can take your time and choose because you're good and you look good. <laughs> you look good, Capricorn, and you know you look good. <laughs> and you got the clothes and you got, I mean, these are material things, but you're, you're feeling, you're feeling fine. You know what I mean? You're taking care of yourself. You're just doing so well with yourself here. So you're not rushing. You're... Look, in your position of your advice is Aquarius energy here. That's double. Aquarius, Aquarius. In the position of your advice here, you're like, you know what, baby, I'm a star. Might not know it now. Baby, yes, I am, am a star. Whoa, whoa. This is you, <laughs> Capricorn. Doesn't everybody know I'm a star? I think I'm a star. I'm in the public eye. I'm fantastic. I'm wonderful. I'm a healer. You know, I'm, I'm hopeful. I got that renewed spirit in me. Look at how good you're going to be in October. <clears throat> Holidays are coming. You're getting excited. Let's get, a, let's get a card here for the star. By the way, if anyone can put in the comments what that song was I was singing. Baby on the Star. I just heard that the other day, too. It's so weird. Oh, my God. Ten of Cups. Seriously. Capricorn, I love your reading. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. And external to you, all the love is coming at you. All the love, communication, phone calls, messages, text messages, selfies. There's people out here sending you selfies, or will be, just so that you'll see them. And I feel like Capricorn, you're like, I just see me right now. That's all I see. I don't need to see you. And everybody's like, but see me too, please. Look. Some of them, they look like a, some of these people are reaching out to you look like a damn fish. You're just like, get out of here. <laughs> Capricorn, I just feel like your, your, your overabundance of self right now. And you can pick, you can be, you can be picky. You can be choosy. So you could be getting some communication from a water sign because this is the water card. Let's see what else. Oh, and a fire sign. Did we have fire here? Oh, we didn't. So now you got, look, Capricorn, it doesn't surprise me because now you've got the king. You've got three kings and a queen where the energy could be reversed. Or the queen can be a king, or the kings can be all queens, whichever. Who I don't know who's listening, but it's okay. So it could be a water sign is very immature reaching out to you. You could have um, a bit of a passive type of a fire sign reaching out to you, or it's a fire sign alone sending you a lot of messages, ad, uh, admiration, sweet nothings, hoping for love, wanting to communicate with you. Okay. <laughs> You got the devil card obsessed with you, Capricorn. I don't know who this person is. It could be them all, it could be all of them, or just one. It will stand out or sticks out. Okay? It could be another Capricorn obsessed with you. They want to have, they want to be near you, they want to absorb you like a sponge. <laughs> Oh, Five of Swords is in the reverse. Well, no control here. That's good. That's good. They just want that easy, easy like Sunday morning. They want to wake up with you in the morning on a Sunday, make some coffee, go for a run, enjoy the, the Sunday afternoon, go do some shopping. Like, very nice. So what's going on here? Your hopes and fears. You have judgment. An awakening. You hope? Okay. Spirit just said that um, you're definitely hoping, hoping, hoping. You've got, you're having a hoping, Capricorn. This person is definitely hoping, or you are hoping that um, you'll have clarity. You'll be able to make a decision, okay? Because this is a card about a final decision or a wake up call. Um, October looks like a pretty fan, you're going to be fancy hot pants in October here, Capricorn. 
and you're going to have some decisions to make like who's going to be the one for you <clears throat> now for some of you this could be reconciliation with a scorpio that's a scorpio card some of you might be wanting reconciliation with a scorpio might be hoping for a scorpio okay some not all of you okay hoping this person is going to like take action come towards you if it's not reconciliation it's a it's this is a scorpio card you have a king of cups back here um there's also cancer energy so it could be one or the other but hoping that whomever it is is going to take action and come towards you okay so wow um your outcome is interesting capricorn wow It looks to me with the Four of Cups, you're going to decline. You're either you're going to decline one offer because you've got four people. You're either going to decline one, which could be a water sign for some, or you may not be able to make a decision. Okay, you may not be able to make a decision, and you may just. I'm sorry, my battery was going off. You may just decide to take things lightly and just have fun and just date and not get into anything committed just yet, which is fine because it's just October, right? You might have one person coming in here, though, that's like bringing you that Ace of Cups. Okay, but look, you also have three more down here. So I feel like all of them are trying to have you have your hand. And I feel like you're just basically going to be like, no, I'm not sure. I'm just, we can just date or I'm just going to hang out with my friends and just socialize, go to happy hour, have fun and just soak up and enjoy all this glorious attention that's coming in for you. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Um, let's get a couple of more messages here for you and see what else is coming in. What else does Capricorn need to know, Spirit? What do you want Capricorn to know? About October. Hot, you're a hot commodity to not just one person, but quite a few. You are just fine. You are looking good. They're looking at you. And you got your money and you're doing well for yourself. And you are just looking beautiful. And for the guys, you're just looking so handsome and irresistible. All of you. Irresistible simply irresistible <clears throat> she's so fine don't know tell her where the money is all right let's see oh what's this they gave you one here Ooh, time to go get your gps set and take off capricorn you know where you're going and how to get there now it's time to go don't waste any more time just do it go after what you want no hesitation blockages are being removed oh spying online you've got somebody either one well there's people watching you online and your twin soul here and a new passionate start with a twin soul for some of you communicate your love to the divine be thankful for this twin soul love you've been chosen for one another even when times are tough and seem back and forth this love is meant to be it's time to reconcile okay that's for those of you who are trying or are hoping to reconcile with either a cancer or a scorpio there is a new passionate start with them but you may not make a decision to go full in with that person okay you you may not you may just decide to just take things lightly you might reject or decline any um ace of cups energy coming in even though spirits bringing it in i don't know something's going on with you you you're you are just i don't know i just kind of feel like you're 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 there like oh, just wait spirit wait just hold off before i get into anything commit just let me enjoy this a little bit longer please you know, you're hitting the snooze button on spirit. You're like, just give me a little bit longer. Okay, I'm just, I'm really loving this right now. <laughs> oh, Capricorn. All right, let's see. I feel you. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Messages of love here for you, Capricorn. If any of you are dealing with a Virgo, um, 
do head over to my other channel, House of Virgo, if you want to be a cross watcher and spy like a sleuthy Slytherin snake on your on your Virgo. Okay. Soulmate. Oh shit. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Oh boy, there's a soulmate here as well. You have got a twin situation coming in. You've got some soulmates coming in. You've got the best reading in all of tarot land here on YouTube. Capricorn. Let this soak soak this up. Wait, time <laughs> timing is not quite right. Uh, see, I told you, you're not going to make any decisions just yet. You just hit that snooze button. Let me just soak this up. Let me enjoy this for a little as long as I can. I'm in la la land. I'm daydreaming. I'm sleeping. Every these people are just like you're a hot com you're a hot commodity. Obstacles, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement the hell out of here capricorn doesn't want to see this right now because capricorn's feeling good capricorn's like i'll deal with those obstacles later and all my unhealed wounds <laughs> maybe that is the obstacle maybe you're just maybe you're overly loving yourself <laughs> maybe you're just making up for it for you know you, you gave a lot you must have you must have given so much love either to someone else or just in the past in general that it depleted you and now this pendulum is swinging all the way to the other side and now you're just lo over loving yourself you, you all that's bounced back onto you you're not ready you're not ready to to move forward because you're trying to really you're really extra <clears throat> loving yourself extra right now Awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. This is you. The light is lit. It's lit. Your love life is lit. Balance. One person giving too much in a relationship. Yeah, I feel like that was you in the past. You might have been giving too much. Children are important to this partnership. Okay, some of you. could That could have an effect on why you're not ready to commit to anybody right now. Maybe you're enjoying your children. Or you're just dating casually. One more. Leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. What's that move? Taking a risk? You just don't want to yet. You know. Capricorn, you're smart. You, yeah, I see. You're like, yeah, I know. I know it's safe, but like, let me hit that snooze button. I'm not ready yet. I'm enjoying this right now. Let's see what your other messages are. Okay. Ooh, five of swords. An unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. That's what's going on here. Okay. You're being discerning with the seven of swords, making sure nobody's going to abandon you or run away or be abusive or anything like that. And that's fine. You're allowed to do that. Like I said, you can be picky. Oh, there's you. King of King of uh, Pentacles, again, compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded. Time of great success, financial security and prosperity, the Nine of Pentacles there. You have the Midas touch, Capricorn. Everything will turn out beautifully, even yourself. You're a good parent and you're a supportive partner and spouse. You're also an excellent person to work for. Remember who you are. Okay, look at that. <laughs> you got the four of Earths. Look at how um, she's putting... She's paying for a beautiful ring here. I feel like some of you are really focusing on yourself. And this would be like for some jewelry or you are <clears throat> buying nice things for yourself, managing your resources wisely, extremes in how you give or receive money, time, or emotions. That's what I feel like. You're enjoying these extremes right now. Smart business decisions you'll be making seeing things as black or white and being charitable i don't feel like you're in this position to be lollygagging i feel like you're in this position of like if it walks like a duck talks like a duck it's a duck point blank period i am not diving into any deep emotional things i'm calling it as i see it um an ace in the hole or not so I kind of feel like you're really on top of your game right now and you're really enjoying yourself for October. And I think it's awesome. You deserve it. <clears throat> All right, let's see your charms. 
Oh, okay. What did I say? Look at this. Some of you are going to date to Bonefish Grill, but we have a fish bone here. So, like I said before, you know, the land was dry and your love life was dry as a bone, and now everything's picking up here. Um, this feels to me, they just told me, climbing the ladder of success right now, Capricorn. You've got that coming to you. This ladder, you're climbing some ladder. Don't ask me how I got that from a fishbone, but that's the message they gave me. You're climbing the ladder to success. You're on your way. And I just feel like when you thought before you really needed to be in a relationship now, you feel so much more secure and happy. Um, you're rethinking things. Like now you want to be with someone. You don't need to be. That's what the difference is here. Okay, you've got the lotus flower. All right. So that's a very important symbol for some of you. There's an energy here of peace and also enlightenment is happening in your life, which is very positive for you. Uh, maybe you have a tattoo of a lotus flower too. Somebody does. Oh, and you've got a sea turtle. Very beautiful. I think Taurus had a turtle. Did Taurus have a turtle? I know Virgo had a turtle. But a sea turtle here. Maybe do you like sea turtles? Is that, you know, some people like seahorses. Maybe you like sea turtles. Are you going to Sea World? You see sea turtles or you, you live somewhere where there's sea turtles? Maybe you have, well, I doubt you have a sea turtle in your house because he'd be like the size of the house, right? So something here to do with sea turtles. And I'm not exactly sure. Oh, somebody's name. They just gave me the initials ST. Somebody's initials ST or TS. Name. There's an S and a T in the name that's significant. Um, just let me give you one Moonology card, and then we're going to close out your reading here. Um, please do join me on Saturday. I'll be back with doing the live streams, $20, and you get a mini reading from me, um, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I go live. <clears throat> and you could just pop right in. And get a question answered all right let's see oh they gave you two okay full moon in virgo you are good enough you know that virgo i mean <laughs> capricorn look you're like i feel like you're telling yourself that now i don't feel like you need me to tell you that i feel like you're in this position where you're like you know what i'm good enough and now it shows it's showing and that's why you're receiving all this attraction um, and a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Could be a Libra coming in for you also. Um, they've said one more. The energy is gaining momentum. <laughs> I feel like you're a rocket ship. About ready to, just about ready to launch. That's what I feel like is going on here. Maybe you're doing stocks. Maybe you're investing in stocks and... You're about to launch, like something's about to launch. That's what they just told me. There's a stock that you're invested in or you've invested in that it's about to take off like a rocket. Let's launch out of here. Awesome. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to leave your reading there. Congratulations for an excellent reading. And uh, make sure you hit the like, share, and subscribe button. I'll see you guys in November. All right, take care.